Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why three strikes in a row in bowling is called a turkey. This is thought to have its origins in bowling tournament prizes. Late 18th and early 19th century prizes given out during these tournaments were often food items, such as a basket filled with various grocery items, a large ham, or the like. Particularly around Thanksgiving in the United States, turkeys became common prizes. At some point, no one knows the exact first instance, one tournament decided to give away a turkey to people who managed to bowl three strikes in a row. This practice spread and eventually embedded itself in common bowling vernacular, long after giving away actual turkeys had stopped. You might wonder how those individuals running tournaments managed to make any money at all when they were giving away a turkey every time someone bowled three strikes in a row, let alone prizes for other accomplishments. After all, even complete amateurs can achieve that feat on occasion, and those who are skilled can do it with some regularity. But in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, bowling three strikes in a row was extremely hard to do, owing to the fact that they didn't have nearly the refined, pristine lanes we're used to today. Further, the pins were set up by hand, sometimes in a not-quite-uniform fashion. Bowling balls also tended not to be well-balanced, and people running the tournaments would often use tricks to make the pins harder to knock down, such as adding weight in the bottoms of the pins. So bowling three strikes in a row was exceptionally hard to do, even for those who were highly skilled. With it being somewhat more common to hit three strikes or more in a row today, new names have been developed to account for the strike bloat, though usage of these terms isn't nearly as widespread as with turkey. That being said, relatively common terms include four consecutive strikes, a ham bone, six consecutive strikes, wild turkey, nine consecutive strikes, golden turkey, a perfect game, all strikes from start to finish, dinosaur. Supposedly originally because it's non-existent, like a dinosaur, though in fact it has been done several times, such as by Grazio Castellano, who was the first to bowl a perfect game on live television on October the 4th, 1953. If you can't remember these names, but still want to sound like you know what you're talking about, about, you can simply call them a four-bagger, five-bagger, etc. for four and five strikes in a row and beyond. So I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please do hit that like button below. And if you've got a why question like this that you would like us to answer, do let us know in the comments below. And if you see one you like, give it an upvote because the ones that rise to the top we are more likely to make. So go ahead and do that. Also check out some of our other videos that are over there on the right. And thank you for watching.